so we just have five minutes. So I'll just give you a small outline of uh, what I do and what I did last summer. So I'm going to talk about outreach and open street map. Um, I'm an active uh, open source uh, developer and I was selected for Outreach around 10 under OpenStreetMap. It's an organization, open source. Uh, what does it do? Um, I, uh, first of all, uh, Outreach program for women has been helping women uh, get involved in free and open source software. The goal is to create a positive feedback loop that supports more women and participating in free and open source software since con contributors to free and open source projects have mostly been men. Uh, this is similar to GSOC as you all might know and is an internship in free and open source software but unlike GSOC, unlike GSOC it is not limited to just students or developers. Uh, so this is a graph representing the number of students that have participated uh, in different rounds starting from one till yeah presently there have been like 12 rounds and they have been increasingly like there have been a lot of uh, improvements in the number of students that have taken part throughout the um, rounds so uh, I'll start with the open street map what it is about um, so there has been restrictions on use and availability of uh, map information across the world also because of the cheap uh, portable satellite uh, navigation devices uh, then there's not, a, there's not a lot of map information around the world so this led to the creation of free editable map around the world which is called OpenStreetMap uh, data is generated by uh, data generated by OpenStreetMap is considered its primary output so what is primary output um, the data uh, available for use um, is replaced instead of using Google Maps uh, they use like OSMN, Geocaching, MapQuest uh, and etc. the names have been given and uh, the, the data is collected from GPS units or digital camera or anything it's, it's all cheap and available and uh, also aerial photography and other data from commercial and uh, government sources add importance to uh, such organizations because they're all free. Um, so yeah, there are different applications. One of them is uh, the default web browser called ID. It is uh, based on HTML5 and uh, D3. There's another one uh, uh, which is a norm application uh, which has a desktop environment based on Linux. So yeah, um, also uh, this is the process of how surveys and uh, personal knowledge based mapping is done. Um, there are ground surveys done, they are uploaded on the website and the contribution is done to it using a GPS unit and a large number of active users uh, do edits to it and uh, make contributions so that the overall mapping is correct. Uh, I did this project uh, with my mentor Myri. It was a hot export tool. Uh, we basically did a redevelopment of it uh, on Django. It was based on Rails first and then we redeveloped it in Django because it's more easier and it's based on Python. So yeah, that's all. Perfect timing. That was like literally right. <laughs> 